It's opening weekend for Disney's live action remake of The Little Mermaid. According to Variety, the film has already made $38 million at the box office. It's expected to gross between $120 and $130 million over the four-day Memorial Day weekend. Now, the film, as you may know, sparked controversy when casting Halle Bailey, a black woman, as the new Ariel. But Halle's portrayal of Ariel has become an inspiration for so many black and brown girls around the world who can finally see themselves again uh, once again represented on the screen who could forget the heartwarming videos from when the trailer dropped showing their reactions to Bailey I I think she's round round Mario <laughs> oh, so sweet at the premiere in London Hallie got to meet several fans on the red carpet, telling Variety she hopes that they know they are worth and deserve to be in these spaces. CNN's senior entertainment reporter, Lisa Franz, joining us now here in studio. Always a treat, as I like to say. Uh, let's talk about, you know, why representation matters so much, especially in this genre of Disney princesses, right? Um, and, and what does it mean to you to, to see Hallie? Yeah, I said on social media that we talk a lot about the representation for young girls of color, but for women of color, people of color, I cried. The movie meant so much to me, especially because this country and world feels so splintered and torn apart yeah. right now. So to see us up on screen in this huge Disney production, which is, I mean, diverse in and of itself. I mean, the cast, all of Ariel's sisters are different nationalities. David plays the crab, you know, he's Afro-Latino. So I feel like this film, Disney's really gotten behind diversity. It's the promotion for it. I mean, their promotion budget was huge. Mm. So for little girls of color, little boys of color, grown women of color, mm. grown men of color, it's just important to have representation right now in this era that we're living in, when everything just feels like people are so far apart. Yeah. We could all come together and rally around this film. Have you sure. seen it? I have. What do you think? <laughs> so take it for what it is. I know a lot of people want to compare it to the animated. Yes. I feel like they did a really great job. I feel like, first of all, I feel like Haley was born to play Ariel. As soon as you hear her sing. Her voice. Yeah. Oh, and part of your world, I mean, those final notes, there's a great video of her performing with the orchestra. I've seen that. And when she finishes, she kind of steps back as if she's a little shy about it. Yeah. And all the musicians yeah. start applauding her. And it's just, uh, it, it just, it fills your heart. My girlfriend, Tanika, said something to the effect of, whenever she sings, it's like she reaches inside your chest cavity and she hugs your heart. Oh. And that's the best way I've ever heard it described. Oh. How close is this live action movie compared to, um, the original. So they changed some things. They changed some lyrics to be more inclusive and also to be less sexist mm -hmm. because there are, you know, lots of complaints that some of our older art has not caught up with the times that we live in now. Mm -hmm. But I feel like what's the most similar in the two is just the sheer joy that you feel from watching. I love a musical, just first of all. Okay. So, you know, I, if I could sing, I wouldn't even speak. We, I'd be singing this interview right now. So, so I just feel like it's just like the joy and the wonder of it. I feel like we all need it, especially right now, these last couple years that we've had, we all need that kind of wonder.